Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an Apache server so it will be accessible to you and other people around the world. Now first of all you have to have to port forward your router or modem or whatever you're using. Now if you don't port forward then you won't be able to do it. Now the port you need to port forward is 80 if you, and that's the HTTP port. Now obviously as I said if you don't do that then it will be only accessible to you. So first of all, we have to download um, Apache, as you can see. Well, obviously, once you port forwarded, then we'll be ready to set up Apache. So um, basically, just go on this link. It will be in the description. And you'll download, you want to download a stable release, 2.2.19. And then you want to download Windows, 32 binary, including OpenSSL MSI installer. So go ahead and open that and download it. Now, since I already downloaded it, I don't even need to do it again. So, go ahead and install it. So, I'm just going to install it here. Click next. I accept. Next. Next. Now, here you want to type local host. Local host. And here you put your email. You can put anything you want, you know. Yeah. Okay. And then click next. And then you want to select typical. And click next and then let it install and I'll just pause the video so you don't have to watch it now you may see these command prompt windows but just ignore them so um, here as you can see now if you get this error message just click escape it's just saying there's a problem with the IP but we'll, we, we will fix that so just click escape and here just click escape and there we go now once the um, installation is finished we need to configure the Windows firewall and we need to configure some uh, Apache files so um, go ahead and go to your C drive as you can see local disk C now you want to go on program files now if you're on 64 bit then go onto this folder as you can see x86 if you're on 32 bit then just go ahead and go on program files so I'm um, just going program files and then go on Apache software foundation yeah, Apache 2.2 uh, here where it says config and you want to go into this text document HTTPD just open that now here you want to scroll down just a little bit as you can see here where it says listen now you want to put your IPv4 address in there now to find out your IPv4 address you want to go on command prompt so just type CMD in this little search area go on that and you want to type in IP config as you can see IPv4 address you want to put this in there so I'm going to type mine in 192.168.0.3 um, I mean not 13 and at the end you want to put colon 80 uh, as you may uh, realize that we port forward 80 and uh, Apache needs to listen to port 80 so people can access it so um basically um, all you have to do is this as I already explained and once you've done this you want to click save and then uh, configuration is done now we will need to configure a Windows firewall so it's go on Windows firewall as you can see there it is um, you want to go on allow a program or feature through Windows firewall and then this window should come up now as you can see I already added uh, Apache but you would need to add it yourself if you didn't if you installed it for the first time so I'm just going to remove this as if I installed it the first time so basically what you need to do is um, you want to click uh, allow another program it should take quite a while to load the um, like programs list so I'll just pause it right here so as you can see this is my programs list now Apache won't be um, appeared in here you need to browse for it yourself so here where it says path just click browse and you want to go onto the program files x86 Apache software foundation Apache and you want to go and bin and you want to select HTTPD um, application here and click open and as you can see Apache HTTP server and click add now you wanna um, allow it as you can see it's ticked for public and home slash work and then click OK and now Apache is allowed through the firewall 
now you can start the server as you can see just click it and then click start and there should be a little play out as you can see it's running now you want to go on your web browser now there, there is a several ways on accessing your website uh, the first way is to go on what's my IP and then paste paste the IP address into your address bar and then it should be uh, you'll be able to access your website only if you port forwarded you'll be able to do that now if you haven't port forwarded then type in localhost then you should be able to get to the website unfortunately it's not working for me today because it's kind of messed up I'm trying I'm gonna try 192.168.0.3 as you can see I went onto the website um, which is you know Apache I went onto my website now if you actually have a subdomain you can use your subdomain since you port forwarded to 80 um, your subdomain will work now if you don't know what one is I will be making a tutorial uh, in my next video showing you how to like make one so my subdomain is map uh, mapbooks are shit dot chicken killer dot com now if you click enter as you can see I have accessed my website there so um there are four ways localhost or put in your IPv4 address that that's kind of like the same category or you can put your um, IP address or you can put your subdomain in there and then you should be able to get it so um that is pretty much it on how to set up a Apache server um, obviously your HTML files will be saved in the Apache Software Foundation uh, Apache 2.2 and HD docs now these are where your HTML documents are saved and um, basically if you want to go on Dreamweaver make a website then you should put everything in here so um, again I think that's pretty much it so uh, thanks for watching and Please subscribe, comment and thumbs up for more of these videos. So yeah.